What is going on YouTube? Here I am in my workshop again, a uh, little project. This is my Keystone Davy Cricket single shot 22 caliber rifle. Uh, this is a youth rifle. It's designed for you know, uh, beginning shooters, especially those of smaller statue, like youth, you know, maybe a teenager. You know, under 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 12 maybe even, but whatever. I bought this a few years ago. Um, I think it was at Gander Mountain when they were going out of business. I paid well under a hundred dollars for it, so not even not in real real gun money. Uh, got it for my figure be a good first gun for my my oldest son at the time. Uh, the wife said he is too young, even then. I don't think even now she likes him. The idea of him shooting, but. Uh, she said it was too young, so this has been in storage for a couple years. Um, I went with this gun. Again, it was cheap, and I have other 22 calibers, but I really liked it. It's a single shot. No, don't have to deal with the magazine. Don't have to deal with getting lost and, you know, safety sake. Just one one shot. That's all I got to do. I can load that in for them. Uh, like I said, it's bolt action. Very simple, and you have to manually cock it. It doesn't automatically cock like a, a like an old military or a modern-day hunting bolt action rifle that will either cock when you open it or close action this is like old school reminds me of like mid 1800s first generation bolt actions where you had to manually cock cock stuff so anyway it's a it's a handy little rifle great for a beginning beginning shooting um even an adult you could you, you could take this and put like almost in a backpack a good little survival rifle i mean hunting if you want to hunt like really small game whatever you can kill a 22 with but again, you got one shot. Decent enough uh, uh, aperture sights here. De decent sights. I mean, for what for what for a hundred dollar gun? Obviously, you can put a scope on there. But anyway, so the reason I brought this out was my I, I want to go shooting the other day. I'm setting up a little range, and I've been working with my oldest son with BB guns. We we got like, a couple years ago. I got the about, probably about two Christmases ago. I got us matching BB guns. Like they, uh, Red Rider came out with this a reintroduction of their classic uh, lever action BB gun. And I got they came with an adult model and a youth model. So he got the youth, I got the adult. It was great. So, but I said, you know, it's time. It's time to, to actually put some real bullets down range. Let's let's get let's break out the 22s. Uh, I know I, I got a couple of 22 rifles. I got one that was like my great grandfather's 22. A couple military trainers that I bought over the years. Uh, I even got a semi-auto. That's my wife, so you know I bought it, so it's mine. Um, she can say it's hers, but whatever. So we got to, let's let's break, break the 22s out. You know, let's, I got some little steel targets. Let's have some fun. And one thing I like I said, I had, this has been in storage for like two years. And one one issue, I, I remember there was a trigger lock on it because you know I was like, oh safety. You know, to appease the wife, let's let's be safe, everything's safe. I, and I remember there being a trigger lock, and I, I thought it was one of those little cheap little red, janky ones that come with a wrench with a two prong wrench. And I figured, well, worst case, I'll break it with a pair of pliers or a screwdriver, or whatever. And so when I got it, I was like, oh, this, this master lock, this right here is what was on the trigger. I was like, oh no, okay, that's right, I'll get the keys. So. And I, I, I kind of know where I keep my keys for, for gun safes and all that. I, I keep them in a, in, in a centralized location with uh, other important things. So I go into where I, I think all these keys are. There is no key for this lock. I'm like, oh no. Well, that's not good. We're running out of time. I want to go to the, I want to do some shooting. And, well, needless to say, that didn't happen that day. And I was still getting frustrated. You know, we got a weekend. Let, let's do this. And, I want to I want to get these. Well, actually, anyway, that day we ran out of time. There, there was other stuff going on. I think we had a storm come through, so and that's why I didn't get my other twenty twos out. And then I started. I need to get. In, I want to get this lock off. And, and you know, YouTube, the internet, they're, they're going to have ways of getting this out. They're going to show me a quick trick to get this thing with a screwdriver, or pliers, something. And I did. I, I searched YouTube, um, and there were there were there are plenty of videos. To this exact this exact lock. On how to how to open it, it was great, and a lot of um. There's some that were what I knew. Yeah, I could get my drill out and 
drill through that. And then others I can drill through over here. And all, you know, basically a way to destroy the lock. And, I mean, I have no problem destroying a lock. But that, that's work. Let's, there's got to be an easier way. And I saw ways of picking it. There was like, I don't know, it was just a lock picking lawyer. Or one, one of the other, lo some lock picks. Oh, yeah, but I was like, I don't remember my lock pick tools. Do I own lock pick tools? I don't know. And, you know, so, and I'm looking at other ways. And then I find a really good one. It was a guy's like a screwdriver. And he's like, and oh, he's a knife. But he's like, you can see where I, I attempted, I pulled back this rubber. And I know I broke off one of these little plastic bits in the process. He's like, all you got to do is get down in here and you push this, compress this, and turn that. And it'll, it'll, it'll pop right off. And he, boom, he does it. The problem, and I found a couple of videos like this actually. So, the issue was that the quality of these videos is really, really poor. They look like they were filmed on an old iPhone. I mean, I can't complain. I mean, I'm on a phone right now because I'm too lazy to get a camera out. But they look like they're on old. I mean, these these videos were uploaded 2007, 2010. These old videos and quality is not good at all. Poorly lit, and I can't judge. I'm in a very poorly lit. This is a very poorly lit, that light bulb. I don't know, it's crap. And, and other ones are burned out, so I can't judge. But anyway, it's, it's not very informative. And it's like, I can't quite see what he's doing. And a lot of these, like, to, I, I felt like these, these videos are guys made, like stole guns. It, it, it's like, Yo, this is like, oh, it's been, you forgot, you lost your key, you couldn't find your key, and oh no, how do I get my gun, and here's the easiest way to do it. I'm like, I'm thinking, the guys that act like they probably stole this gun somewhere, and like, here's how you stole a, steal a gun, here's an easy way to get access to that gun, so you can do more crimes. But, so, I, I tried this disguise method, and like I say, you can see everything I've, I tried, I tried to get this little... Get this little metal bit and turn it and compress whatever. It's like, oh, it's on a ratchet and you just got to slip the ratchet gears. And I was like, I gave up because that's me. If I can't do something, like, if, I, if, it, if it doesn't get, like, naturally, like, like, I got frustrated. So the next day, I'm like, okay, let's try this again. Clear my head. Fresh. I even watched the videos again. Getting frustrated. Well, so I decided... And then I... I and obviously, I've since... Uh, I've since gotten this, this lock off, you can tell. And here's the method, and I just figured it out. And I, I'm, I'm really nervous. I don't want to risk putting it back on right uh, on the, the trigger to make sure it works. But anyway, I went back in, in my house, my desk, and I'm in my drawers where I got some, some papers. Um, I, I'm looking, old papers or whatever, miscellaneous junk drawer, there's a battery, you know, dead battery, an expired CNR license. Um, I was digging through this drawer, and what do I find in the corner? I find this little master lock key. And I was like, oh, okay, let's just go, let's take it out to the workshop, see what this is. It fits. It turns. And the lock came off. I know I used to have two keys. I don't know where the other key is. But at some point, I had the, the, this key here. I put it in a drawer. So here's my advice. The easiest way, if you lose your keys, the easiest way to, uh, to get this off, find the keys. Do some looking. Don't be messy. That's it. Find the keys. The key will work every time. No drills. No screwdrivers, no knives, no picks, no hammers, nothing else to key. Put the key in, turn it, even one-handed, boom, came off. Works every time. Peace.